Okay, testing, one, two, three. Testing. This sermon's entitled, Nehemiah's Stone Walls. <clears throat> I'd like to open up with prayer, and then with a few verses. All right, dear God, thank you for giving us your word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says on this very subject. Bless the listener. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, let's open up with Psalm <clears throat> 114, the whole psalm. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language, Judah was his sanctuary and Israel his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams and the little hills like lambs. What ailed thee, O thou sea, that thou fleddest? Thou Jordan, that thou wast t driven back. Ye mountains that, uh, that ye skipped like rams and ye little hills like lambs, tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the God of Jacob, which turned the rock into a standing water, the flint into a fountain, into a fountain of waters. <clears throat> now, at the beginning of this psalm, we see the concept of having a sanctuary and the concept of having a house. Now, it's very important that we make sure that our, ho that our, our homes right now today are being safeguarded, <clears throat> being fortified and protected. So I'd like to go into Nehemiah chapter number 4, and let's, let's talk about the stone wall. I think this is this this old this story this this um, Old Testament story could be applied in our lives now because Satan is is against all believers. He's after the believer. That's who Satan's going after, the saved person. And let me be a little more um, frank about this, or a little more uh, uh, clear about this. Satan is going after the one who's going to make the difference. He's not going after the carnal believer now today. He does. He couldn't care less about that person. And Satan's not going after the person who's just, gonna, who's just ruining their life in sin because they're already ruining their own life. See, the person like that is their own worst enemy. They don't need Satan to destroy their life. He's letting them destroy their... Ultimately, he's, he's behind it all. He's the source of all the sin and all the iniquity. But he's, he's made, he, what Satan is, 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 is doing now, he's looking for the ones that are going to make a difference. You know, the preachers, the soul winners. And so it's very important that we build up a stone wall, a hedge of protection. Now, let's, let's take a look at Nehemiah. But it came to pass that when Sanballat heard that he was that excuse me that we builded the wall, he was wroth and took great indignation and mocked the Jews. Okay, and he spake before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, "What do these feeble Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in a day? In a day? Will they revive the stones?" out of the heaps of the rubbish which are burned. Now that's what they use to make these walls, out of stones. So the concept is getting a stone wall. Stone wall is there to protect. And okay, let's just let's just let's just keep reading. <clears throat> now Tobia the Ammonite was by him, and he said even that which they build, if a fox go up, he shall even break down their stone wall. That's what Satan's trying to do. He's trying to break our stone walls. He's trying to do that with all these different sins. He wants to tear. He wants to tear apart the family unit. He wants to get it to be to where they're, you know, they have a, a you know, they have a divorce, and he wants people to just, you know, be attacking each other and, and criticizing one another. That's what Satan does. So, in order to fortify, you know, our family unit or whatever it is that we're trying to fortify in our life, we need to get into God's word. We need to apply God's word. You know, we need to have Bible verses memorized because number one, Satan is a liar, and that's the, that's his main tool. Is he's going to lie. So, how do you combat a lie? How do we build a stone wall? We get the truth down. We get God's word memorized. Okay, that's just one of the many ways we can build a stone wall and, and fortify the stone wall and strengthen it. Hear, hear, O our God, for we are despised and turn their reproach upon their own head and give them, you know, for a prey in the land of captivity. And cover not their iniquity and let not their sin be blotted out from before thee. For they have provoked thee to anger before the builders. So built we the wall and all the walls and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof, for the people had a mind to work. So it's important that you build the entire wall, keep Satan out completely. But it came to pass that when Shanballat and Tobia or Tobia and the and the and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashadites heard that the walls of, Je of Jerusalem were made up and that the breaches began to be stopped then they were very wroth. See, that's what Satan's... Look, these people represent... Let's just let's say they represent Satan and his demons. They represent the enemy. And they don't like it when you, when you fortify 
yourself. They don't, they, don't, they don't like the stone wall. They don't want the stone wall to be crafted in such a way that it's hermetically sealed. So that's what we need to do. And how do we start doing this? Number one, we start getting things out of our life that's, that are, that are going to cause a stumbling. Or they're going to cause sin. You know, that's why it's very important that we, you know, we, we, we guard our eyes and we guard our ears. And build, we build, us, build, us, build ourselves a stone wall because the devil's going to try to break it down. And that's what the devil does. He tries to break down everybody's stone wall. And most Christians out there don't even have one because they don't care. And they just want to live for nothing. It's a sad thing. So let's just keep reading. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, and conspired all of them together to come and fight against Jerusalem and to hinder it. Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto our, our God and set a watch against them day and night because of them. That's another way to, you know, strengthen your stone wall is to pray. Be in prayer all the time. And Judah said, the strength of the bearers of burdens is decayed. And there is much rubbish, so that we will not be able to build the wall. That's what Satan is trying to do. He's trying to get your life so messed up that it's impossible to build it back up. So that's why we have to we have to apply this, you know, piece by piece. Okay. This sermon once again is for saved people only, and this is not for unbelievers. Sometimes I do sermons only for the saved, and that's why I don't go over the gospel in the sermon. But the gospel is Jesus Christ died for your sins. He was buried and rose again, and any. If you want to be saved, you must believe on him. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And then once you're saved, you're always saved, because it's an eternal life. Now, I'm preaching the gospel in this sermon, because that, for some people, they need to hear the gospel again. Maybe, you know, that could help them, that could be their stone wall. It's just more reassurance of their salvation. You know, these things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. The reason you know you have it is because God already gave it to you. He gave it to you the moment you believed on, on Christ by grace through faith alone in Christ alone. So yes, even the gospel itself can be a stone wall. Because the devil's going to try to do anything he can to just mess up a person's life. And that's why it's important that we we <clears throat> we build up a stone wall. And that's that's the whole concept here. Okay? They're having an actual physical, you know, war. We're in spiritual warfare. So jump over to verse 20. I'll close this. In what place thereof ye hear the sound of the trumpet? Resort ye thither unto us, our God shall fight for us. So we need to let God fight for us. Because if God be for us, who can be against us? So in order to build a stone wall in our life, we had to be more grounded in the word. We had to pray more. We had to get rid of things out of our life that's, that are going to cause us to stumble. Things that are going to cause you to sin. And I would recommend people getting rid of their TV sets. Getting rid of, you know, something that's going to cause you to, you know, listen to secular music or whatever. Just get rid of the stuff. Because these are things that Satan, these are ways that Satan is going to get into your life and mess it up. And there's a lot of other ways, a lot of other things that people should get rid of. So the whole concept is building a stone wall, a hedge of protection from the devil. And I just want to encourage people to do, to do this because Satan wants to have his way with everybody. And if you build a fortified stone wall that's hermetically sealed, airtight, he can't do anything. And I believe it starts with just getting into the Word of God and memorizing the Scripture. Get scriptures all